Hi, this is Jim Snell. I have some experience with people telling me it's impossible to remove this spigot from the cylinder. Early models, you could easily put a wrench on it, but on the later models, it was so tight there that you couldn't put a socket or a box end or anything. And when you try an open end, it just rounds off the flats. Later, they changed it to a spigot that uses an Allen on the interior. I'm going to show you here that if you do mess up these threads, they are the standard spark plug threads, 14 millimeters, 1.25, so a spark plug tap will clean those up. If you cannot get the spigot off the cylinder, sometimes they're seized, and you're having no luck with a socket or an open end wrench, what I do is I take a vice grips, a really good pair, very sharp, and just clamp it like I show here. Clamped in a vise with soft jaws and then I use a large adjustable wrench to get on the vice grips and then I can very easily rotate, break loose this spigot and get it started and get it out of there as you can see here and I make this video only because if you don't figure out this little trick it can be very frustrating trying to remove and replace that and I recommend that if you replace it you use the one that has an Allen in the center as I show here there are some variations in diameter, but not much. Mostly, they're all the same through the years. Here you can clearly see I'm showing the two of them, the variations. I'm showing here the one on the right is the one that uses an Allen, and I pointed out there. This way you're never struggling again with a wrench or a socket. You just put the Allen wrench in the center of it and your little fiber washer and then it screws right on there. They should have been like that all along. So that's what it looks like with the new style installed. Thank you for watching my video.